Hello students, this particular question is from GATE 2017, Computer Science and Morning Session and from the subject of Engineering Mathematics. Consider a quadratic equation x square minus 13x plus 36 equal to 0 which has a coefficients in the base b. Then the solution of the equation in base b is x is equal to 5 and x is equal to 6. Then what is the value of b? Here the quadratic expression that is given, equation that is given is x square minus 13x plus 36 equal to 0 and it is given that the coefficients is of the base b. What are the coefficients? Here 1 is the coefficient, 13 is the coefficient and 36 is the coefficient. So if you have a particular number, whatever be the number, for example if I have xy, if the base of this particular number xy is b, so I can write it as b power 0, b power 1 and b power 2. So ultimately we can convert it in the form of decimal as equal to the top b power 1 into x plus b naught into y. Now this is going to be a number in the form of a decimal now. Okay, if you have a number x, y or if I have a big number, probably this is z. Now I'll have b square into z plus b power 1 into x plus b naught into y. This is how we are going to write our particular number if it is of a base b and the ultimately you can write it in the form of a decimal because we can understand decimal very simply. Now there are three numbers. First number is 1. So 1 can be written in the decimal as equal to 1 itself. If you have the base is b, okay, you have b power 0, b power 1, b power 2 and so on. Next number is 13. Next number is 13. So in the form of decimal we can write it as b plus 3. Next number is 36. In the form of decimal we can write it as 3b plus 6. Now what I am going to do is that in the quadratic I am going to replace that. x square minus b plus 3. Now this number will be in terms of decimal. Plus 3b plus 6 equal to 0. Okay, this is 6. Now this is the quadratic expression and it is given that the solution for this one is nothing but x is equal to 5 and x is equal to 6. Now we know that this number is nothing but sum of the roots and this number is nothing but product of the roots. So sum of the roots is nothing but 5 plus 6. So 5 plus 6 is nothing but 11. 11 is equal to b plus 3. So the value of b is equal to 8. Or we can re verify with this one. This is nothing but the product of the numbers. So it is 5 into 6, which is equal to the top 3b plus 6. So it is 30 is equal to 3b plus 6, implies that the value of b is equal to 8. So the value of b here is nothing but 8. Value of b is equal to 8.